Welcome to today's video. We are diving into Cisco InterSight Infrastructure Service, where you can see, control, and automate your compute, storage, and networking infrastructure all from one place, no matter where it is. So in this video, we will go and deep dive into benefits of Cisco InterSight. Now let's talk about day zero and deployment option for Cisco InterSight Infrastructure Service or IIS. IIS can be deployed in two ways, SaaS solution, this is hosted by Cisco as, at intersight.com and the virtual appliance. This can be set up as either connected deployment or a private air gap deployment. But what is IIS virtual appliance? It's basically the SaaS service packaged in a virtual machine. It initially support VMware and it looks and works the same as the SaaS version and has the same initial feature. With IIS, you can also quickly uh, see the real-time status of both physical and virtual devices. The dashboard highlights anything that needs immediate attention, such as UCS domain connectivity, um, security advisory, field notice. It also provides supporting details and recommended actions. It makes easy to identify issues and take action promptly. Now let's talk about how Cisco InterSight simplifies infrastructure management through its lifecycle. From the IIS dashboard, you can start doing from day zero, executing day zero deployment, including converged infrastructure, operating system, hypervisors, and network configuration. On day one, you can do configuration across the domain. And in day two to day n, it's very easy to maintain and troubleshoot your infrastructure. For example, the connected tag capability offers automated support processing and it will speeding up resolution times. For certain component failures like memory or drives on your server, an automated RMA can initiate as soon as the fault is detected without user intervention. Your infrastructure is always on, so you need real-time status updates even when you are away from your computer. That's why Cisco created IIS Mobile App. With IIS Mobile App, you can get updates on your system and configuration in your InterSight account, check the status, track inventory, monitor operation of UCS and Converge or Hyperconverge solution, and you can also view and acknowledge your alarms, plus much more. One of the best ways to simplify infrastructure lifecycle management is by automating deployment and configuration tasks that were previously manual. For example, you can automate workflows and apply them to UCS templates, profiles, or policies. Automation helps you deliver application and infrastructure faster. It also reduces risk by standardizing configurations and deployments, and it simplifies cross-domain orchestration. IIS offers two options for automating infrastructure lifecycle management. One is the use the drag and drop workflow designer and task library to build custom workflow. If your organization uses other automation like Ansible, Terraform, you can use the InterSight API and SDK to integrate your automations. Let's wrap up this overview. By using Cisco InterSight Infrastructure Service, you can accelerate IT operation, enhance security with strict standards and continuous risk mitigation, ensure compliance with consistent operations, increase uptime by preventing issues or resolving them quickly, boost productivity by automating repetitive tasks and complex workflows, and control energy use with server power management. All of these helps IT teams operate with agility to drive innovation and growth. Now we are done with the presentation. Let's go to the lab and start the configuration. As we learned in the presentation, we can integrate our B and C series server into InterSight. To integrate your old existing Fabric Interconnect into Cisco InterSight, we will use the API. But in virtualized version of InterSight, we will use target claim, and I will show this in the lab. Note that 6200 series does not support InterSight manage mode natively. 
However, you can still integrate them for centralized management and monitoring. 6400, 6500, they are able to support natively through Intersight. I will have another video explaining this process in detail. Now, let's jump to the lab. Okay, let's log into UCS Manager. Here from the admin menu, we have to select, here's the admin menu, we have to select device connector. Okay, let's go to device connector page and we have to turn it on here. Now the device connector is turned on, let's go to setting. In this menu, we will configure DNS and NTP. So we have to provide DNS and NTP to make it work. If you are using proxy server, you have to provide it here. Let's save the config. And by saving that, we are finished with UCS manager. Let's go to Intersight. Please consider that my Cisco Intersight is a virtual appliance. I'm not using SaaS. And because of that, we are not dealing with API. Here in the virtual appliance version, we're using target. So let's choose target from admin menu and claim a new target. Now we will follow the wizard. At the first step, we have to select the UCS domain UCSM managed. Start. And we provide the IP address of UCSM, which is technically our fabric interconnect, and provide the user and, and password. And claim. Okay. Let's go to process to see the progress okay status is successful and we can see the IP address the source type is device claim and the source name is IP address of our fabric interconnect let's go to fabric interconnect itself as you can see we are able to see the warning message in this case uh, power supply 2 is missing now let's go to monitor and then you have a nice dashboard. You can see the inventory, um, the server models, and you can use widget. Here we have various options and here I select health summary. Let's add the widget. Source is fabric interconnect. Adding. And now I have this widget in, in the dashboard. Now from the operate menu, we can select fabric interconnect. And from here, we can launch the CLI, open tag case, upgrade firmware, or you can launch your UCS manager. Now we are redirected to UCS manager interface and we can start configuring our device like before. For example, in this case, I can go to my chassis and I can see status of my servers. Or I can go and check the hybrid display of my infrastructure. Okay, thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like, share and subscribe to stay updated. If you have any question, feel free to reach out to me on social media. Thank you and see you soon in the next video.